First TV headlines this hour. The Syrian president says his administration will keep fighting, quote, terrorism and those who back it in his country. A senior commander of the insurgents fighting the Syrian government says the militants have received 35 tons of weapons from Saudi Arabia. Hello and welcome live from our studio center in the capital, Tehran. You tune to Press TV International News. Thanks for joining us. The Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad, has stressed his resolve to continue fighting terrorism in parallel with reaching a political solution to end the crisis. He made the remarks during a meeting with a Tunisian delegation. He said Syria will keep fighting terrorism while also embracing a political approach to end the two-year conflict. This has come as Syrian troops are making increasing headway in their fight against the insurgents in the strategic border city of Qusair. Both sides say gaining control of the city is a turning point in the war. Meanwhile, the head of the foreign-backed militants fighting the Syrian government says his forces have just received a 35-ton arms shipment from Saudi Arabia. The chief of the so-called Free Syrian Army, Brigadier General Salman Salim Idris, has said the weapons will help, but they are not advanced enough to overcome the Syrian troops. In particular, he said that the weapons will not be able to combat tanks and planes in the vital western town of Qusair. He added that he will not attend the upcoming International Peace Conference on Syria in Geneva and Switzerland, unless the United States and its allies give the militants in Syria anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapons. It risks that the militants on the ground are weak and it will not be fruitful for them to enter into peace talks at the moment. He had previously asked Washington for 700 tons of weapons each week over the next month. 